Hello everyone. Under a microscope, you can see anything with a whole new perspective. Water looks good. Bubblegum has a whole new world. Stay till end if you're not afraid to experience some new discoveries. Let's get it on. You are drinking mineral water every day, but ever thought what's inside a mineral water? Could the taste be any different? Rainwater under a microscope looks literally weird. It is literally full of bacterias. Have you ever wondered what's really inside your bubble gum? Sure, it's chewy and sweet, but what if we take a closer look, a much closer look, under a microscope? At low magnification, you can see tiny sugar granules and some weird patterns on the surface. Eggs, we eat them every day, scrambled, fried, boiled. But have you ever seen what they look like up close? Really close? Close up of the egg white under the microscope showing long stringy protein structures. Skittles, colorful, crunchy and packed with sugar but have you ever wondered what they really look like up close? Here's something crazy. Skittles don't actually have different flavors. Each color tastes the same, but our brain associates the colors with fruity flavors. Honey, sweet, golden, and one of nature's greatest creations, but have you ever wondered what's really inside honey? And here's something cool. Honey never spoils, but over time it crystallizes. When we magnify crystallized honey, it looks like a frozen honeycomb of sugar crystals. Red Bull, it gives you wings, but what's actually inside this energy drink? Caffeine and taurine are the real stars of Red Bull. Caffeine molecules are super tiny, but they help wake up your brain. Taurine, on the other hand, is actually found in your body. Coffee, the fuel that keeps the world running. I took a few drops and placed them under the microscope. And check this out, those tiny granules? That's caffeine. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, but what happens when that apple goes bad? We see a network of tiny thread-like structures. These are mold hyphae, which spread across the apple and break it down. I grabbed a fresh okra, sliced it open, and placed some of its seeds and slime under the microscope. Okra's mucilage is what makes it so sticky when cooked. It thickens soups and stews. Rice, the most popular food in the world, but have you ever wondered what it looks like up close? Fun fact, different types of rice absorb water differently. That's why sticky rice holds together while basmati rice stays fluffy. Snickers, one of the most popular chocolate bars in the world, the chocolate layer. Under the microscope, it looks rough and grainy. That's because chocolate is made of tiny cocoa and sugar crystals mixed with fats. Vitamin C, it's the go-to supplement for boosting immunity. But have you ever wondered what's actually inside one of these tablets? I took a regular vitamin C tablet, crushed it, and also dissolved one in water to see how the particles change under the microscope.
glitter glue. It's colorful, it's shiny, and it sticks to everything. It looks like random specks in a gel, but zooming in reveals something amazing. Each glitter piece has unique shapes and colors, reflecting light in different ways. Marshmallows are light, fluffy, and melt in your mouth, but under the microscope, they look completely different. Let's take a closer look. Marshmallows look like a network of tiny air pockets. These air bubbles are trapped inside by whipped sugar and gelatin. Ketchup. It's thick, smooth, and full of flavor. But have you ever seen what's inside that red sauce? Ketchup looks completely smooth, but zooming in, we can see tiny suspended particles. These are bits of tomato pulp, vinegar, and spices. Ice cream is smooth, creamy, and delicious, but under the microscope, it's full of hidden surprises. And here's something cool. Inside, we can see tiny fat droplets trapped in ice crystals, giving ice cream its creamy texture. Cheese. It melts, it stretches, and it tastes amazing. Under the microscope, cheese is full of tiny holes. These are air pockets left behind by bacteria during the fermentation process. Oreo cookies, crunchy, creamy, and iconic. But have you ever seen what's inside an Oreo at the microscopic level? The cookie looks smooth, but zooming in, we can see tiny sugar crystals and cocoa particles packed into every bite. Blueberries, small, sweet, and packed with antioxidants. The outer skin is covered in a thin, waxy coating called the bloom. It helps protect the berry and keep moisture inside. Nail polish, shiny, smooth, and colorful, but under the microscope, it looks completely different. At first glance, it looks like a solid layer, but up close, you can see tiny cracks and pigment particles suspended in a polymer base. River water might look clear, but under the microscope, it's a whole different world. There are microscopic creatures swimming around, bacteria, algae, and even tiny water fleas. Ginger, spicy, strong, and packed with health benefits. Under the microscope, we see long, tangled fibers. This is what gives ginger its tough, stringy texture. And that's a wrap on today's microscopic journey. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the microscopic world, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more mind-blowing experiments. And tell me in the comments, what should we put under the microscope next? Your idea might just be featured in the next video.